Hello. Hey, um, I don't know when we're going to get a chance to talk. So in case we don't, and I, I really want you to have this information because I have to go to a meeting tonight. I don't know what you're going to be doing. I think it's urgent. So you were talking about um, how you keep having negative thoughts, right? And then I wanted you to know, oh, I want you to see what I'm doing too. I'm cutting vegetables while I record. You can't really see that, but that's what I'm. Ha that's what's happening. Okay. Um, everybody has negative thoughts. Um, you would be surprised, but every single one of us has negative thoughts. You know, the people that have won that victory, you know, they use a tool, and I'm going to share that tool with you. And obviously, you already know what the tool is. It's the Word of God. But there's a strategy for using the Word of God. Okay. So first, you have to pay attention to what you're thinking. And you're already ahead of the game because you're thinking, you, you, you know that it's a negative thought and you're trying to battle them. Okay, so good, good job. You caught it. Now what you do is you can now tell God that you caught, you know, this negative thought. Because it's not of God. Anything that's not good, that is not uh, nice, that is not... Um, holy and has pure you know we're supposed to think on things that are pure and holy and anything that has a good rapport right that's a scripture so that's that's supposed to be our thoughts and because you know it's negative it is not of god so you can say hey oh god um i caught the devil whispering this negative thought into my into my mind right because the the scripture says that we um put on our armor, our whole armor, and that's another talk, but we put on our whole armor to battle those thoughts, the, the fiery dark, dark thoughts that are coming against our, our, our brain and our, our mind and our heart, right? So you, you caught it, you know it. So now what you do is rebuke it in the name of Jesus. You rebuke it. Um, and you say, um, God, this is your, you know, I am yours and I don't hear anybody else's voice. I only hear your voice. This voice is, is, is a liar. It's a lie. And I, I cast it down. I cast down all vain, evil imaginations and thoughts. My, I surrender my mind to you, Father God, and I close off anything that's not of you. So that's one strategy. And that works really well. The uh, another way to do it is, um, remember I was talking to you about how Jesus, when he went into the temple and they were, they were, um, uh, selling things in the, in the, in the, in the holy place. He got so angry and he flipped over the table. That's how I like to think about this. When you, when you, um, hear that thought, right? get mad. You know, you got to, the, the Bible says that the violent take it by force. He's talking about the righteous. We're not just going to stand there and let him, uh, just enter our minds and just go trample. You wouldn't let nobody come into your house and cause all kinds of havoc in your house, right? All kind of make a mess and, you know, mess with your husband and your children. You wouldn't, you're not going to let no, this is, this is the house of God. So you're not going to allow those evil thoughts in because you're a pure, holy, sanctified woman of God and you need to keep it clean and it we have to do something about it. So you're right in reaching out to a sister to say, you know, this is happening because now I know what to pray for too, right? How to pray for you. Otherwise, I don't know what to pray for you. I just pray that you're blessed, you're, you're holy and, you know, that you're taken care of. Okay, but now I have specific, you know, battling or um, praying, help praying with you against uh, the enemy and the and the and the the fight against your mind, right? Because if he can get your mind, here's something so important. If he can get your mind, that means you'll be distracted. So here, uh, he gets you thinking about an evil thought. You know, let's just say something bad. You know, like a worry. Uh, you know, so now you're worried and you're thinking about that, right? You're completely distracted. The Bible says that we're supposed to pray and pray without ceasing, meaning always be in prayer, right? Constantly when I'm cutting the, 
when I'm cutting the, the vegetables, I'm saying, oh, thank you, God, for, for my daughter. Thank you for her life. Thank you for her healing. Thank you for my grandchildren. Thank you for Roger. Thank you for my husband. Bless him his day today, Father God. Let no weapons formed against him prosper. Any weapon that rises up against him, he will condemn because it's his, his heritage as your son, as your, your child to do so in the name of Jesus. So, right, we're supposed to, but if you are so focused on one thing, maybe, you know, somebody cut you off in the road and you're like, oh, that red car, look at him. Oh, he's so bad and so evil. He cut me off. He doesn't know how to drive. He probably got his driver's license from a Cracker Jack box or whatever we say, you know, that we're distracted. No, don't waste time. Time is of the essence. It is so precious. We don't have time to be worrying about, you know, oh, she doesn't like my haircut, you know, or, um, you know, I don't know. For me, it's different because I'm older now and we have all these other worries, but, um, or concerns, you know, that I could be focused on, but you know what? No, the Bible says that is we're to pray without ceasing. So that means that even when you don't know what to pray, pray in tongues, Pastor Joe's message this, this Sunday was off the chain. He talked about, he hit it right. He hit that nail right on the head when he said, when you pray in tongues, so if you don't have the gift of the prayer, praying in tongue, uh, maybe you do. If you do, use it. I mean, you don't know how to pray. You've already exhausted your mind, your knowledge of what to pray for, your children, your husband, your family, your church, your pastors, you know, your mother, your father, your cousins, your aunts, your uncle, whatever, your friends, right? You've already exhausted that. Okay, now in the name of Jesus, you start praying in that spiritual tongue. And I want to start speaking in tongues, but it is something that, you know, hope, you know, um, I don't know what I'm praying. I don't know what I'm saying. But you know who does? God does. Because those prayers are in line with what, with what God wants for our life. I am doing a, a meal prep by... These are the vegetables that I cook for Roger in the morning. I feed him vegetables every morning before he goes to work uh, with his eggs. But, um, uh, yeah, so you're in line with what God, when you pray like that, you are praying what God wants, not what I want, not what anybody else's wants. You're praying what God wants. And let me tell you, sister, woo, it is so powerful, powerful. It not only, you know, now you're praying for others and praying for what God wants in your life, in their life. You are being edified. You are being strengthened. It is amazing. And um, if you don't have the gift of praying in tongues, that's another topic. And we can talk about that, too. Maybe I'll make another video about that, but in the name of Jesus, I bless you, and I, ca I call you blessed and healed, and I pray that you receive this message, and it's clear, and it's going to help you to battle and win those battles of, of us being our t attacked mentally. Don't give in. Flip the table on the devil and no flip it and start in the name of Jesus I rebuke you evil thought you are not of God and then whoever it is that they're taught that because you know the the devil uses people the devil uses people to to distract you like it'll be your husband it'll be your children it'll be your daughter it'll be right it'll be your cousin whatever and and they'll say oh look at that person they're talking about you they don't like you they they uh maybe they shouldn't do that to you or you know maybe they're talking about something you know like that and this is what I do I flip the table and I say 
I thank you for that person, Father God. I thank you for my cousin. I thank you for my sister-in-law. I, I lift her up to you today, Father God. And I ask you to bless her and protect her and lead her and guide her into all righteousness, Father. And you're going to see that those evil thoughts stop. They can't win God. They don't win God. They don't win God. And you got to know that. And you'll see, it stops immediately and you're blessed. But here's the thing I want to tell you. It's not like it's going to stop and that's it and it's never going to happen again. No, these are things that you have to fight and catch every day, every time it happens. And you got to pay attention to what you're thinking. Now you're in a place right now where you're catching those thoughts. Now, grab them, crush them, throw them to the ground, stomp them on and stomp them. Right? In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. I love you. God bless you. Talk to you soon.